प्रेम नाम है मेरा प्रेम चोपड़ा मैं वो बला हूं जो शीशे से पत्थर को तोड़ता हूं द मोस्ट लव्ड विलन ऑफ बॉलीवुड दैट्स एन ऑक्सी मोर ऑन इज इंट इट but that these words exactly describe our guest on this episode of the interview the very versatile actor veteran actor loved by everyone and a legend the very charming mr prem chopra thank you welcome mr prem chopra and thank you very much for speaking thank to republic thank you very much TV. for uh, saying the very kind words about thank me. you thank <laughs> you so we all know uh, the prem chopra on screen yeah. we've seen you in uh, many movies over 400 films that you've worked in but very few people would know who the real prem chopra is the man behind the screen the man off screen who he is so in this uh, in the span of the next few minutes that we are uh, having a conversation with you we hope to know you better we hope to know the person yeah. uh, prem chopra so uh, i would first like to ask uh, you you know you were you were born in lahore in pakistan i was born in lahore yes. and grew up in shimla i was uh, yes. my father was at that time the government service so we were transferred to shimla after one during partition oh okay <coughs> so <coughs> i did my graduation there from shimla then we moved down to chandigarh for a little while and then that's how the things started rolling and uh, when i was in the college in uh, Shimla, there used to be dramatics, mm -hmm. so I was very shy in the beginning. But then I used to find I, I studied in Sanatan Dharam School, which was basically different, different than the people who come from the English schools. Mm -hmm. So when I went to the college, I had uh, I had inter interaction with lots of people there, but they were damn confident, much more confident, and. they could speak anything they, because they are they, they were not stage free stage fright or something so i thought myself yeah, why can't i be i be like them so i removed my shyness and started doing taking part in debates and declamations and all that sort of stuff that made me going that also created a kehte na keeda hota hai ha ha jo we acting ka bhi so there are lot of the lot of dramatic uh, associations in shimla to waha bade gaiti theater hai it is the british raj it used to be mm. the summer capital so there are two or three very very important uh, theaters so we used to stage plays there so i stage plays there and uh, fortunately i there was an intercollegiate dramatic competition and uh, fortunately i was awarded, awarded the best actor so that got me going though my father was against it he said i don't want don't want to interfere in your life because he was a very highly educated person and uh, but it's a very uncertain line you are going hmm. but you go you try, want to try your luck you go ahead but first thing you do is to find a job there because bombay is an open place where you lot of opportunity to get a job you get a job and start keep on trying hmm. side by side although if you are not able to succeed there you will be able to um, have yes. a job at least have a backup job is yeah. what your father said yeah that's right so when you came to mumbai um, uh, how 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 was your struggle here uh, you know what was the job that you take and we know that you were associated with the news publication back yeah, then time so time, yeah. yes so how 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 did you start how did you you know uh, how did you approach filmmakers and what were you doing how were your initial days in this uh, big city you see it is uh, in, in the big cities because my father told me one thing before i left you have to be on your feet there i won't be able to send you any funds hmm. because i got a large family we got five brothers and one sister so he said uh, okay and then uh, i had to manage myself here yeah? then a little bit of uh, help from friends and from family of course but i was staying in the in the, in the guest houses a couple of years or well, there the guest houses a one room comprising of comprising of about four people four beds in the same and there was there's the sort of a guest house there where you have so many rooms and the people mm. were like crowded overcrowded thing 
There were many stragglers in those days, in those things. That was in Dada. And the most important thing was the Ranjit studio, yes. Shri Khan studio, and those were very close by. So, and, and time, we used to go every day in the morning there to see if it's possible to get in there. So that's how the thing started. So, but, uh, you know, you've worked in uh, 400, over 400 films. Not just Hindi, but also Punjabi cinema. Yeah. English also. Yes, as well as English. What was your first break like in the film industry? You see, it was very sudden. Uh, when I was working in Times of India, and during the interval, I used to take a train from Bori, Bali, Bori Bandar and go to Dadar hmm. or go to Naz, Naz Cinema. There are a lot of film productions. There used to be. And all the film, um, this uh, Mahalakshmi, in terms of happy yes, yes, yeah. So we used to try go and meet them. And they say, "Acha yaar, we had to. I had to face a lot of uh, problems." They say, "Okay, okay, we'll take you, but you leave your photographs and name here, and we'll call you." And they never called. So we kept, we kept on trying because it was determined to be here, and uh, but there was a lot of pitfalls and things were difficult to get in in those days. It's mm. not so difficult nowadays. So my first break was like uh, I was traveling in a local train and there was somebody sitting opposite me and he said, you're interested in cinema. I said, yes, I am. Can you come with me to Ranjit studio, the other I said, of course, you can come. You're going to introduce me to somebody. He said, yes. Now, on the way, he told me, you're going to be, it's a, it's a hero's role. And depends on how the director says yes or no. But it's a Punjabi film. I thought for a moment, I said, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Beggars are not the choosers. So it started. <clears throat> so that picture was Chaudhary Karnal Singh. That's, I started with a very good hero and opposite me, Jabin Jalil. That picture turned out to be the biggest hit of that time. And then, of course, a lot of Punjabi pictures started coming. But the budget used to be very hmm. small, you know. So I, was, I did about five, six Punjabi films. And then later on, I thought it's, I better try in the Hindi films too. But I mean, side by side, I was trying. Actually, my aim is to yes. be in the Hindi cinema. So suddenly, that's how the break took place. The first break of mine, you said. Hmm. So then it started going. <laughs> <laughs> so while growing up, uh, who did you look up to? Uh, you know, who was your Dalip idol? Kumar. Dalip Kumar. And you were fortunate enough to work with him as well. I was wanting to work with him. I was, this was my dream to work with him. And I was very fortunate when I was offered Dastan, the first film with him. And I used to be sitting there and watching him. Yeah, this, this, you know, you get, you get the... Mesmerized. You get mesmerized and you get that feeling of a person whom you have been idolized all your life. He was so good, but and a great actor, but he was a greater human being as well. So that's what he knew that I am I'm, uh, very uh, smitten by his him, so he wouldn't make me easy. <laughs> so that was nice. And then, uh, of course, other things followed. Actual break used to uh, got me in Upkar, that's Manoj Kumar. Yes. Manoj was a good friend of mine, and uh, that picture was, uh, was not the first choice, of course. The first choice was Rajesh Khanna. He was selected by the panel of producers at that time. So he was very excited to work with Manoj because that's a parallel was brother, two brothers. One day he came to Manoj Kumar, was very sad, he said, go to talk to you something. He said, my producers have objected that this character of my, this character has some negative shades. They, they, they said that we are taking, thinking of taking you as a leading man. So you can't do this. 
or you'll have to give it up. So it, we, to my good luck, he refused. And I was immediately called by Manoj to face the camera. Next day was the shooting. I, I had worked with him in a couple of films before, like a Shaheed. Mm -hmm. Shaheed was Bhagat Singh, very pretty nice, Prasuk yes. Sukhdev. <clears throat> so that's how, but it was a negative role. That's how the things started going. You see? Mm. Then, then the once your picture is just very successful and you've got a good role and you deliver a good job, yes. then the people do notice you and they sign you for the assignments as well. So was it, uh, was it just by chance that you decided that uh, probably not, you didn't decide it, but probably, you know, go ahead with negative roles uh, coming your way because, or did you aspire to be, you know, the quintessential hero of a yes, film? Yes, yes. Let me tell you, <clears throat> anybody who comes here to the film industry, he wants to be a hero. Yes. I came as a hero, I was in Punjabi films and some of the couple of Hindi films also I did as a leading man. And I was doing well, but the pictures where I worked, they were not successful. Once the picture is not successful, mm -hmm. the best credit or the negative character goes to the hero of the picture. So other actors, you know, if they, they are there, if they are the good actors, they keep on getting work. But the, if the hero's pictures, three or four pictures flop in a way, they have to struggle a lot to stay in this profession. Well, the character actors can stay provided this deliver goes because nobody takes you, nobody takes you uh, for granted or nobody nobody helps you to get involved. You have to deserve it. So that's how I got, got going. Everything. So it Very interesting incident was there. My one of my first films was Wokong Thi, hmm. directed by Raj Kosla. And Manoj was also there. So there, it was a suspense picture. And I was a suspense of the film. And in those days, I was doing my struggling days, I had met Mr. Mahbub Khan. Mahbub Khan me was bola sala tum kuj garbar ne karna, I met the hero later on next picture me. I was very happy, Mother India, oh, she picture ban chuke thi. So I used to go and, he said, I visit me every day in the evening. I used to visit and make me stay, but he was there, sit in the corner and watch him. But I found that man is getting not well, you know, he's unwell. And I had to live in Bombay and to have my, my, I have my job as well. So I accepted this film. And uh, there are three scenes in the film. And then when that film became a big hit, and coincidentally, it, there was a premium uh, premiere of this film in Metro Cinema. He was the chief guest. So next year, coincidentally, I was uh, uh, working in Mabu Studios for another film. He came on the set especially to tell me. I said, I didn't want to do the wrong job. Now, this picture is very good, and you became a villain. <laughs> <laughs> How to stay there? No, I knew nobody here in Bombay. I, knew I was alone. So that's how. Uh, but I'm happy now that I've done it. Yes, of course. And you know, you're telling us so many interesting anecdotes from your career with Dilip Kumar Saab or Mehboob Khan Saab. Uh, another very uh, uh, famous co-actor that you've worked with, you've, you've had 19 films with, was Rajesh Khanna. Yeah, yeah. And uh, even um, you had a very great collaboration with Amitabh Bachchan as oh, well. Yeah, no, any no. memories? Uh, Dilip Kumar Sahib ke saath saath picture ki mene. Ji. So any any memories that you would cherish uh, even now when you when you think about the when you think about those acting days? Any anecdotes or memories that you this cherish? Is, there is now. Uh, this is uh, uh, in you in those days there was no vanity bands as mm. they have it now. So after the shot, we'll sit together, discuss things, we'll laugh together, and become very friendly. So we used to be family friends only. But um, nowadays, and also the director will sit with us, for, as he used to be, he used to be there to make some improvements. Hmm. Because virtually the pictures were not made in 
isolation in those days. They were group activity. So I have to make a suggestion that I would like to do this. He says, do you think it's right? Okay, do it. Then let's see how do you do. So I did that thing. Some were accepted, some were not accepted. So that's how the things were going then, you see. So while we're talking about your work, you know, you're famous for your dialogues. I'm sure everybody who's seen your films remember the, the dialogues that, you, <laughs> that you've uh, given us. And uh, it wouldn't, I wouldn't do justice to it when I say it. So why don't you, you know, give one of your famous dialogues, Prem Nama Mera, for our viewers. Uh, well, this was Mr. Raj Kapoor, the great. Hmm. He was a genius. So I was already established as a star in my way, hmm. in my way. So I was doing parallel roles like um, uh, Rajesh Khanna, ya Amitabh Bachchan sahab, Jitendar ke saath, Dharminder ke saath, sab ko saath barabar ke role mein. I'm good at that. The picture used to be in three act, main hmm. characters, hero, heroine and the yes. villain. So Azad sahab told me, yaar, I want you in this film. I we jumped out. I said, why not? Yaar? This is something, a great opportunity. And then he said, this is only a special appearance. I thought for a moment, I said, you know, I was a little bit of conscious of it, and I just told him, I am already doing a parallel roles with Shakti Saman, this and that, there's all those, Mohan Kumar and everything, Bhima Prakash Ji. So, I have a guest appearance in your picture, I have a guest appearance in your picture. I'm thinking whether I'm doing the right thing. He says, no, no, I don't want to know that. You're doing the picture. I said, fine, you don't want to do it, I'll do it. So, I was asking them to work with Rajpur Sahib. So, he gave me a script, so he gave me a script. So, I said, tell me, tell me, tell me. Then, we went to the event of the shooting, located in Pune, in Adaba. And then he explained me the scene, that this is Hero and heroine have run away from the house. And um, once you get them, we'll get 25,000 rupees. And I was a goon there. So he said, you have to catch the heroine and share your dialogue. Prem. Prem naam hai mera. Prem Chopra. <laughs> that became so, so popular. The picture was excellent. And this, uh, this uh, dialogue of mine became uh, so much popular that I was uh, now anywhere I go, used to go in for shows and everything, the request of the people was to say this dialogue in the same way you did it there. Mm. I used to feel, feel happy about it. Why? Because I, I could forget my dialogue, so I could not forget my name. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, you know, full of pictures, people thought this is because very popular. There was other films also uh, who started giving me the uh, one-liners during mm. my character. One was Sautan, yes. made by my friend, Shavar Kumar. Of course, he is no more there. And uh, there was this dialogue. मैं वो बला हूँ जो शीशे से पत्थर को तोड़ता हूँ उनका मकसद यह था कि मैं वो बला हूँ जो पत्थर को शीशे से तोड़ता हूँ मैं कहे उल्टा कर दो मैं शीशे से पत्थर को तोड़ देते so this was your input yeah it was this was your input this was yeah this was you know this was something very mean it will look like so that became also very popular so like there are so many other things so you, you gave a personal touch to the dialogues yes. that were given to you. That's and what that I told you, no? Yes. Pictures used to be made in group activity. There was not an isolation. Of course, the director used to be the captain of the ship. The pictures are big hits, but when the audience comes out, they say these dialogues. Hmm. They forget yes. about the picture, they yes. say. <laughs> so that was, I was surprised to you know that these this dialogues overtaken the merits of the film. Hmm. So you've been in this industry for 60 years, you've seen six yeah, decades six in, uh, in, in Indian film industry. And uh, 
so even right now i assume you're work you're working right now i'm as well. i'm i'm doing one or two projects yes. very very now i'm not that busy as i used to be but i'm doing so I'm, i feel so, like working you know of course so when you when you look back over the years how do you think things have changed uh well things have changed year. dramatically now when we were working there was different totally different atmosphere the comradeship and otherwise togetherness and all sorts but uh, there was never no no special effects no ysf or whatever mm-hmm. you call it and uh, but nowadays it's different special effects are there visual effects are there you know there they enhance the uh, content of the film and present generation of actors are well educated and uh, quite confident and also very competent in their art how would you rate your experience with the with the current generation of actors what 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 we now call millennials or yeah. gen z you see there there used to be the time when the uh, there used to be three main characters in the film hero heroine and the villain so when i come on the st- I used to come on the screen and people knew there's some gadbad on only kuch na kuch hoga gadbad so it was clear there were nowadays most of the most of the leading roles leading characters leading heroes they have done their villains or negative yes, roles yes. also but then they have a background mm-hmm. why and how he has become a negative character so in the end they get all the sympathy of the audience mm. too so there's so there's the difference of doing these characters otherwise things are changed everything changes your face changes your personality changes everything is different so now we we've spoken about prem chopra the actor uh, let's also talk about prem chopra the family man and as we are talking your your wife is watching us <laughs> your she's watching you give this interview so how has your family life been uh and uh, i'll ask you where this question comes from i'm sure your your uh, growing up your children would be watching your films and they must be seeing you playing negative roles did it impact them in any way yeah yeah you see i i have six grandchildren now three were sharman the mm. twins and one yes. and uh, rakita nanda who is a writer also author and uh, she's got a daughter mm. and uh, vikas bhalla is having mm. uh, Sanchi and Veer the mm. two two uh, two children so they make six now um, this these guys you know this is rats of my my grandchildren <laughs> who I love them very much they see my old pictures when they seeing they see the he, they see it say uh, you know this is your nana say ah, i'd come and don't don't talk to me she your nana <laughs> so why why you say that He said, "This man has got full hair. <laughs> Nana is bla- bald." <laughs> so, so there are a lot of uh, <laughs> things we have to explain to them <laughs> how things take place. <laughs> so I'm very much attached to them. They're they're also have we got mm. a good family yes. life so far. Mm. Touch wood, it should be like this. The, but but when your children were growing up did they see you did, did they see you play negative roles on screen yeah they saw it then they were they were there was a question for, for my one of the daughters he said why you do such a you go to the uh, schools or colleges they say why why is playing such bad characters i said we 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 told our friends that he is not like this he is like a comedian in the house <laughs> but then i made them sit i said listen I I can only afford a car to drop you to the school the best of education I can give you and best place to stay and best things everything whatever you want to do is is available and you can do it so that is why because of the characters that I am playing is because I am working so the work brings you took it like you said work is worship work always is worship. indebted to absolutely yes. god is great god looks after you when you work honestly and that yes. way and uh, like 
you you've been in the film industry your your family is in the film industry yes. as well your sons in law uh, one you yes so you have it's it's a generations who've been in this uh, in indian cinema uh, we know at times uh, this industry can be brutal as well have you any time experienced anything of uh, of the the downside of in the, the in world the of beginning. glamour yes in the beginning or in the beginning in the middle, I, I felt yeah. I felt uh, quite insulted, mm -hmm. humiliated, rejected in the beginning. But then, as I told you, the people, some people don't like it. And they, but I, as I said, I wanted to be there. So I accepted everything and kept, kept on trying. So those people who were, uh, who were just rejecting me, ultimately they became my friends when I was in their films. I was in all their films. <laughs> no, because they, but once, once the things start, it's a commercial business. Yes. Nobody, nobody can take you if you're not saleable or if you're not wanted. So that's how the things go on in the film industry. So n you're 87 now. What, what keeps you going? Oh, that's the tragedy. I have to tell my age on the people. <laughs> 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 Myself and uh, Jitinder used to be there. तो वो मेरे आगे हाथ जोड़ता था यार तू पचास साल का बोलता है तो दस साल तक पचास साल का है तो व्हाट इज दिस यार जो जस्ट टेल मी ओए सो यू आस्क है इफ आई आस्क माय ब्रदर्स ओ समबडी यू नो प्रेम शुभ रहिए व्हाट व्हाट शुड ही बी इज इट दिस टू अ बिग बिग शॉट ऑफ जोक अबाउट इट सो दैट्स इट नाउ आई वांट टू हैव गुड लाइफ आई एम हैविंग अ गुड लाइफ I miss working in the films, which I'm not very active, but I'm working now. Like, uh, you're a very loving and a very loved person as well. And the accolades that you've got over the years uh, is, is tremendous. The awards that you've got, uh, you know, uh, the number of awards, the Lifetime Achievement Awards. Very few actors have been, you know, have, have been lucky enough uh, to be as blessed as uh, you are. <coughs> So when you, when you get so many awards, uh, how, like you know, how does it feel to be uh, to be receiving so much love from fans and even from all generations? You know, I feel very humbled, mm -hmm. and I feel uh, gracious gratitude to the people who accepted me and they have tolerated me for such a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I love them, I love the audience. I mean, sometimes the characters of mine were very negative and there's a different but the other way my attitude towards the whole thing is very positive god is great yes that's why i'm being rewarded for my it's a reward is always an, an act of appreciation for mm. your work that you've done today when you uh, when you sit back relax and think about your life uh, what you've done in the last 60 years in this film industry, any uh, regrets or something, you know, Are ye karna chahiye tha us vakt. Ya fir, ye jo nikal gaya, chance nikal gaya mere se. Or something, any regrets or anything, uh, you know, how, how do you reflect upon your life? Yes. <laughs> I see, let me tell you, everybody wants to be a hero in the pictures. But then, as I told you, the adjustment is very important. When your pictures don't succeed as a hero, you get the maximum discredited. Mm. So my films that I did as brought he as hero, they were not very successful, and uh, uh, I would have stopped getting work provided I would not have adjusted to the whole thing. So adjustment is very important. What keeps you going is there are some actors I know they were superstars. But when their brown dawn fall had come, they could not compromise with that sort of a uh, situation. So they, they, because when they were superstars, they were kings, and they would do anything they liked. But when they became downward and they got the opportunities to prove themselves, they thought it's below their dignity to accept mm. this character. They were not able, and also not able to adjust in that way. But there are some actors who have done it wonderfully well, like Amitabh Bachchan. He has adjusted himself to do the character roles. Yes. The super duper star. He is still a superstar. 
amazing uh, body of work that he's done. So like that. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prem Chopra, for talking to Republic TV. Uh, by the end of this interview, I hope our viewers get to know you up close and personal, the yes, person yes, uh, yes. that uh, Prem Chopra is. Uh, thank you very much. It was a great pleasure talking to you. It was a great honor having you on our channel. Uh, on this channel your channel is so nice that I never miss a uh, uh debate from 9 to 9 one, but even my wife doesn't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, uh, miss it. But a wonderful job the guys are doing. Everybody is so good in their own job. They are doing it so efficiently. I'm very happy with this channel and my congratulations to everybody there. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you very much. Pleasure, pleasure is mine. Pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. <laughs>